Y'all, we are looking up <laughs> by request Nooker, and we're comparing it to both billiards and pool, because bar games, um, games. Uh, Snooker has come up a couple times in the comments, and along with darts, along with darts, one hundred percent. And I just don't know what Snooker is. I know people in our community have tried to tell me what Snooker is. And what what it ends up becoming is it's like pool fair, and I yeah. didn't dive into it because I'm not a pool guy either, or no. a billiards guy, or this game in front of us guy. We don't, didn't want to get off on the wrong foot with the snooker community, like we did with the darts <laughs> community. So this is why we're starting with this first. <laughs> Let's ease our way in. I got three videos queued up here. They're one channel and then the other from two channels so y'all you'll yeah. see what i mean in a second here yep and anyway three two one okay billiards also known as q sports refers to a type of ball game played on a cloth covered surface and hitting a ball using a q stick The table is surrounded by cushions, bumpers, that prevent the ball from falling off. Okay, so pool, billiards, and snooker are all different types of billiards games. Okay, so the same family. So yeah, that's same, what that means, right? Same family. Same family, I think. Yeah. Okay. In the U.S., pool is more popular than both billiards and snooker. That. Most players use the term pool and billiards interchangeably to refer to the game of pool. In the U.K., snooker is more popular than billiards and pool. Okay. Yeah. Also known as Caram Bowl, the game is played with the three balls on the table with no pockets. The table is usually heated to increase the speed of the balls. What? Billiards. Huh. Three balls. Okay. Huh. Well, okay, the balls used for the game are one white ball with the spot, one white ball without a spot, and one red ball. Okay, uh, the most popular carom billiards is known as three cushion. The object of the game is to score points by caroming, caroming Maybe. your cue ball. Off the three rails, the red object ball, and your opponent's cue ball. Okay, so, so... Okay, so each player gets a cue ball, I assume. Yeah. Okay, and then that means there's one with a dot, or without a dot, and a red ball on the table. So if yeah. you're... So if you're... According to this, if you're playing with someone else... There should be four balls on the table. Oh. Including yeah. yours, right? Because you don't I share think... a cue ball. Right. If you have to hit the other's cue ball. So I think so. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's completely different. I've never seen this game played. Yeah, me neither. Mm -mm. familiar there we know how to play it just if if you got you're either the uh solid Solids, balls yep. or the one with the white stripes you hit it with the um pool the stick ball, the pool stick and the cue okay and the cue um 
the object is to not hit, get the eight ball until the last uh, bit. You and whoever gets the eight ball in wins. Uh, w wins. There you go. Yep. yep. Now here we come to the meat and the potatoes. No okay, man. I'm I'm paying attention. I'm close. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, snooker is a type of billiards game that is played on a 12-foot table <laughs> with six pockets, okay? okay? The game is played with 22 balls, and players compete to get the highest points in the game. Okay? Following so far. Okay, snooker balls are not numbered. However, they come in six different colors, which have different point values. Okay. Okay. Red is, oh, red is one, yellow two, green three, brown four, blue five, pink six, and black seven. Okay, so that's that's uh that that's something we're gonna need like a cheat sheet with to yeah. see which uh which one has the most amount of scoring of all time. Okay. Yeah. Take a screenshot of that. Move on. Well played. Well played. Nice advertisement. Okay. Then All explains right. the rules of snooker. All right. We're going to get a more in depth look yeah. at snooker here. Because that um, was just one freeze frame on the yeah. other one. Yeah. You can't really learn too much with that. Well, so that's why I queued up the. Uh, other ones here oh yeah we do it right here when we when we actually formulate it yeah yeah somehow the object of the game is for you to win more frames than your opponents snooker is a game that's usually played between two people and to win a frame you must score more points than your opponents to score you must use a wooden cue to hit a white ball known as a cue ball into a colored ball and for that ball to go into any of the pockets on the table this is known as potting the ball the table is roughly 12 feet by 6 feet, and the amounts of points vary depending on the colour of the ball being potted. The 15 red balls on the table are worth 1 point each. The yellow ball is worth 2 points, the green ball 3 points, the brown ball 4 points, the blue ball 5 points, the pink ball 6 points, and the black ball is worth a maximum of 7 points. Okay, okay, so that's that's another ex ex expanding on the first video here. Yeah. Now there's how many whatever amount of red balls are and there's one of every other color too interesting 15 interesting. i think yeah 16 17 18 19 20, 21 all right 15 or 16 whatever uh well i'm sure it'll come back in snooker the rules stipulate that you must hit a red ball on the table if you manage to pot a red ball you are then given a free choice to pot a different colored ball to add more points to your total score if you successfully potted a colour ball after a red, you score the relevant number of points, and the coloured ball is put back onto the table. Okay, that... Okay, that's different. That's okay. different. Yeah. So... Okay, so they keep the the black ball alive. They'll yeah. give you the points and they'll put it back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, let, me, let me replay that a little bit, just to let it soak in a little bit. We never ever do this, but... Uh, <laughs> that 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 went a little fast. We weren't prepared for that one. Given a free choice to pot a different coloured ball. In snooker, the rules stipulate that you must hit a red ball on the table. If you manage to pot a red ball, you are then given a free choice to pot a different coloured ball to add more points to your total score. If you successfully potted a colour ball after a red, you score the relevant number of points and the coloured ball is put back onto the table. The entire process okay. begins again, and you'll be allowed to try and get another red ball into one of the pockets. Got it. If at any time you fail to pot a relevant ball, it is the end of your turn, and your opponent will be given the chance to aim for a red ball so that they can score themselves. Once all the red balls have been potted, you must aim for the rest of the coloured balls in ascending order. 
the highest score after the black ball has been potted wins. Games you usually played to the best of 11, 15 or 17 frames, and winning more frames than your opponent wins you the game. Now that sounds a bit too simple, there's more isn't there? You guessed it, there's a lot of things you cannot do in snooker. You cannot touch any of the balls with anything except your cue, you cannot pop the cue ball accidentally or otherwise, you cannot hit an incorrect coloured ball out of turn, you cannot hit any of the balls off the table, you cannot hit the cue ball twice in one stroke, and you cannot move a touching ball. These infractions result in a foul and your opponent will be awarded four points and the next shot. Wow, wow that is uh, that's strict. intense. Pretty strict. Okay, yeah. so, okay, I think I'm getting it. You, ha you, you unlock the colored balls once you hit a red ball. Like, you got to go for the red. Mm -hmm. You make the red. Once you make the red ball, then the table's open to hit the other colored balls. That, like, yeah. unlocks it. Yeah, okay, so it's, a, it's like a game, a video game unlocking yeah. levels yeah okay. and then once you hit that color ball that ball i'm assuming goes back on the table not just the black ball at, in its place so all the color all the colored balls have their place on the table yeah right okay okay and then if you miss then the other person gets a chance to hit the red ball and all the rules that he just stated except for that like the foul points um is pretty much pool they just yeah. don't touch the ball don't all that good stuff yeah yeah okay can also be awarded five six or seven points for fouls involving the blue pink or black balls respectively ah. snooker is a very strategic game and that's basically the rules in a nutshell but there's a few other things you'll need to understand before playing or watching a game for example cannon a cannon is where a player hits the cue ball to contact more than one ball this is usually a strategic play to leave the cue ball in a favorable position for the next shot touching ball if the cue ball is touching another ball, the referee will call touching ball. You must play your next shot without moving this ball, otherwise a foul will be called against you. Snookered. You can strategically hit the cue ball to make it difficult for your opponent to hit the next required ball. When a ball is blocking a shot to the next required ball, this is known as being snookered, and makes the next shot very difficult for your opponent. Foul and a miss. If a player fouls and fails to hit the required colored ball, the opponent will be awarded four points or more and wow. has free choice to play the next shot where the ball lies or have the balls reset to their previous positions and make the offending player try that shot again. Free ball. If a player fouls and leaves the cue ball in a snookered position, he is eligible to declare a free ball. He can pot any colored ball and will only score one point for it. However, he will retain the next shot, so this is usually a strategic play to stay on the table. Conceding. If a player does not think that he has a realistic chance to win the frame, or realizes that there isn't enough points on the table to get a win, the player can concede defeat and a new frame will start. Conceding is usually done verbally, or by not returning to the table when it's your shot. Maximum break. The maximum you can score in one trip to the table is 147 points. This involves potting a red, then potting a black, repeating this process 15 times, and then proceeding to pot the colours in order without fouling. If you wow. manage to do this, this is known as a maximum break, or a 147, and is the equivalent of a perfect game in 10-pin bowling, or pitching a perfect game in baseball. It's not impossible, wow. just rare. Snooker is a popular game worldwide, and once you've played or watched a few games, the rules will become clear. If you found this video at all helpful, please like, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things, and good karma is very much appreciated. Be sure to follow me on Twitter also, but in the meantime, enjoy snooker. Alright, so, hey. so that, there's a lot of rules there. It's a lot of uh, things to soak in. Uh, I guess watching a few would probably... Um, ingrain it in our heads yeah yeah i gotta see it played out in front of me but yeah okay so you can concede basically if you go on a, a winning spree like a flawless winning spree is 147 and you basically sweep the whole game you run the table yeah 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 that's that's the equivalent of the two nine of uh, the nine darter yeah uh, thing 
at, that we checked out. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. That's a big table. 12 yeah. feet by 12... 6 feet? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's pretty big. That's a that's a yeah. You got to have some real estate to have that kind of table, dude. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do what my I guess I would I would love to see in the comments too. Are there a lot of people that personally own snooker tables? Yeah, because or is it that's... mainly mainly a pub thing. If you own a pub, you own a snooker table. Yeah, because over here I think there's I've been to more houses with pool tables than anything. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you there. Yeah, and I think to round this out, let's uh, look at the pool one just to you know yeah round it out. Nin explains the rules of 8-ball pool. The object of the game is for you to win more games than your opponents. 8-ball pool, not to be confused with 9-ball pool, is a game that's usually played between two people, and to win a game, you must legally hit the 8-ball into a pocket. To get to the 8-ball, you must use a wooden cue to hit a white ball, known as a cue ball, into a numbered ball, and for that ball to go into any of the pockets on the table. This is known as potting or sinking the ball. The table is roughly 9 feet by 4.5 feet, and the object balls are numbered 1 to 15. Balls 1 through 7 are solid colours, sometimes known as spots, and balls 9 to 15 are striped. The idea is to sink all the spots, or all the stripes, to get to the 8 ball, and then to legally sink the 8 ball to win the game. The game starts with a break. Unlike in 9 ball pool, any ball can be hit off the break, and for a break to be legal, at least four balls have to hit the rails of the table, and the cue ball must not go into any pocket. If you sink a ball, depending on whether or not the ball is a spot or a stripe, you must then go for the same kinds of balls and sink them into the pockets as well. Once all of your designated balls have been sunk, you may aim to pot the eight ball into a pocket, and you must declare which pocket to sink the eight ball into. If you oh, uh, I didn't know you had to declare which. Uh sinkhole you're gonna sink it into yeah that's the, everything up to that point i knew already um that's the one part i didn't know so you gotta call your shot at the the last shot is you gotta call it yeah yeah you gotta tell which one you're gonna sink it into huh yeah you legally sink the eight ball into the correct pocket you win your opponent will be designated the other kinds of balls and if at any point you fail to pot the relevant ball it is the end of your turn, and your opponent will be given the chance to aim for their designated balls so that they can get to the 8-ball themselves. There's a lot of things you can't do in 8-ball pool, isn't there? Yep. You cannot touch any of the balls with anything except your cue. You cannot sink the cue ball, accidentally or otherwise. You cannot hit or sink one of your opponent's balls before your own. You cannot fail to hit the object ball. You cannot hit any of the balls off the table. You cannot hit the cue ball twice in one stroke. And you cannot play a push shot. These infractions result in a scratch, or a foul, and your opponent will be awarded the cue ball in his hand. He can then place the cue ball anywhere on the table and continue with his shot. Competitive matches are usually played to the best of 10, 15 or 20 games, and the player who wins 6, 8 or 10 games faster than their opponent wins. Now that's basically the rules of 8 ball in a nutshell, but there's a few other things you'll need to understand before playing or watching a game. For example, automatic loss. There are ways in which you can lose the game automatically. Almost all of them involve the black eight ball. These include hitting the black ball off the table, sinking the black ball and the cue ball at the same time, accidentally sinking the black ball before you've cleared all your designated balls, and sinking the black ball in the wrong pocket. Call sh ah, man. That that's even more strict now. The sinking the black the black ball before, you know everything else. Now, what I don't, I think they have to reset the eight ball if it's collateral, right? Yeah. Like if yeah. you hit your ball and that ball scrambles the eight, and the eight goes in by accident or whatever, they have to re they put that ball back out and play. I believe. Yeah, I'm not yeah. sure. Or that's an automatic loss. Or that's an that automatic is. loss. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shot. In some variations of pool, and in some tournaments, 
you may be required to declare which ball you're sinking into which pocket. Potting the right ball into the wrong pocket results in a foul. Black Ball Black Ball is a British variation of the rules of pool. Instead of having numbered balls, the colours are red, yellow and black. It's played almost exactly the same way on a smaller 7-foot table, and you either have to sink all of the reds or all of the yellows to get to the black ball. But the main rule differences are that skill shots are allowed, and fouls are awarded with two shots instead of having ball in hand. Eight ball okay, so that's basically if you miss, uh, if you're from the UK and you're anywhere like the US where they're playing pool and you miss snooker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pool is the most common variety of pool worldwide, and once you've played or watched a few games, the rules will become clear. If you found this video at all helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. All right, there we go. We've got our crash course on billiards, pool, and more. most importantly, snooker. snooker. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, I'm here for it. This is just interesting. It's throughout our journey, right, as a channel, right? We've learned what everyone's listened to when they were growing up via music at the very beginning. We learned some more of the, the cultural and history of it. Now it's like, now we know they go to pubs religiously. Now it's like, what do you do at the pubs? And mm -hmm. this is just adding a whole new layer. All and, of it. This is besides drinking a pint and maybe having some food. This is what do you do for fun in uh, the, that's besides eating and drinking. Pretty much. This is awesome, man. I like this. This is a great part of the journey, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Y'all comment below some uh, interesting docs or games or players of snooker that we should check out and are do and like like dan asked earlier do you own a snooker table and if so do you play on it a lot i guess i don't know i need to know because over here it's just a lot more readily available i feel like just yep. to get a pool table pool tables so anyway this was awesome man guys more of the fun stuff y'all thanks yep. for watching some more rounds subscribe and watch another video uh, what now, Dan? <laughs> Unplug and practice your snooker. Exactly. We'll see y'all in the next one. Later, guys. Fellas, we can be that mistake. Let's do this.